you very much. Appreciate your being here. Uh, just a statement before I talk about debates. I think that our country is right now in the most dangerous position it's ever been in from an economic standpoint, from a safety standpoint. Uh, both gangs on the street and, frankly, gangs outside of our country in the form of other countries that are, frankly, very powerful. They're very powerful countries, and we don't know what we're doing. We have leadership that has no clue how to handle them or how to handle any other situation. We have a uh, — we have a lot of bad things coming up. You could end up in a depression of the 1929 variety, which would be a devastating thing. Took many years, took decades to recover from it. Uh, and we're very close to that, and we're very close to a world war. In my opinion, we're very close to a world war. We have people that don't know how to handle it. Uh, they're not respected. All over the world, they're laughed at. And we can't have that. Most dangerous period of time I've ever seen for our country. With that being said, uh, we have somebody that hasn't received one vote for president, and she's running. And that's fine with me. But we were given Joe Biden, and now we're given somebody else. And I think, frankly, I'd rather be running against the somebody else. But that was their choice. They decided to do that because uh, Kamala's record is horrible. She's a radical left person at a level that nobody's seen. She picked a radical left uh, man that is uh, — he's got things done that he's — he has positions that are just not — it's not even possible to believe that they exist. Uh, he's going for things that nobody's ever even heard of, heavy into the transgender world, heavy into lots of different worlds having to do with safety. He doesn't want to have borders. He doesn't want to have walls. He doesn't want to have any form of safety for our country. He doesn't mind people coming in from prisons, and neither does she, I guess, because he's not — she couldn't care less. She's the border czar. By the way, she was the border czar 100 percent. And all of a sudden, for the last few weeks, she's not the border czar anymore, like nobody ever said it. And I just hope that the uh, media becomes more diligent, more honest, frankly, because if they're not going to be honest, it's going to be much tougher to bring our country back. We have a very, very sick country right now. Uh, you saw the other day with the stock market crash, and that was just the beginning. That was just the beginning. It's going to get worse. It's going to get a lot worse, in my opinion. And uh, fortunately, we've had some very good polls over the last fairly short period of time. Rasmussen came out today. We're substantially leading, and others came out today that we're leading, and in some cases, substantially. I guess MS, NBC came out, or CNBC came out also uh, with a poll that was, you know, has us leading and leading fairly big in swing states. In some polls, I'm leading very big in swing states because they want safety. People want safety. They want security. They want respect all around the world for our country. They don't want this this horrible uh, culture that is developing, a culture of no common sense. It's really a culture of no common sense, and it's not what anyone wants. We want to have a safe country. We want to have a strong military. We want low interest rates, and we want to be able to have the American dream. We want to be able to have our youth be able to buy homes, housing, get good jobs. And we're really just at the opposite right now. It's so — it's so sad to see. But as a border czar, she's been the worst border czar in history — in the world history. Uh, I think the number is 20 million, but whether it's 15 or 20, it's numbers that nobody's ever heard before. 20 million people came over the border in the last — during the Biden-Harris administration. 20 million people. And it could be very much higher than that. Nobody really knows what the number is. Nobody knows. Nobody has a clue. And uh, the gotaways, they call them the gotaways. The gotaways are at numbers. Somebody was uh, quizzing me on it the other day. No, no, I don't think so, sir. I don't think so. Uh, they have no idea what those numbers are. But they're much higher than you would think. Just like far more people were killed in the Ukraine-Russia war than you ever report, just like the uh, October 7th would have never happened, Russia would have never hit Ukraine had the election result been called differently. Uh, it was a very bad call, but Russia would not have attacked Ukraine. October 7th in Israel would have never happened. You wouldn't have inflation. A lot of great things would have happened. But now you have millions and millions of dead people. 
and you have people dying financially because they can't buy bacon, they can't buy food, they can't buy groceries, they can't do anything. And uh, they're living horribly in our country right now. 